Well, it's not a good morning. It is a good evening because it's been a crazy day and I didn't get around to doing this this morning and I'm sorry. Uh, but to be, um, uh, to be faithful to what we've been doing all year, I, I do need to complete a, a video today. And this morning we read through Acts uh, 27, 28. And um, I, I'm, I'm just asking the Spirit to, to bring it all back fresh to my memory. But I, I do love this, this, uh, these passages because um, it's, it's a description of Paul and the shipwreck. And there's uh, some very important things that, that, that come out of this um, that pertain to us today. Because I, 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 I love Paul's whole um, role in this, where he warns them ahead of time. And he says, guys, let's, let's not do this. Let's not, let's not go out. Um, and he's not an expert <laughs> sailor whatsoever. Um, but we, we, we can assume that the Holy Spirit is communicating to Paul that this is, this is not a, a good idea. And um, but of course the the, the soldiers are going to listen to the to the captain and, and to the and to the navigator uh, who are telling them that it is a good idea. Um, so when they get out there and and things turn really bad, Paul doesn't disengage with them. Uh, he 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 stays engaged with them. He he becomes their encourager. He becomes a really important uh, person on board the ship at that time because at very key moments um, he. He becomes the encourager. He convinces them to eat at, at certain times. He warns the, the, the soldiers of the, the sailors' plan to escape on the lifeboat and telling them that if we're, if we're going to make, make it through this, it's going to take all of us. We, we have to stick together. And uh, all the way through, despite what it looked like, he, and, and he, he was telling them, listen, the angel of the Lord showed up and, yeah, the ship's going to be lost, but not one life will, will be lost. Um, I have to stand on trial before Caesar. So he's he, he's in the midst of all this. He could just sit back and say, tough luck on you guys. Like, I, I, I tried to warn you, and, and there you go. And um, the, the, the world is in this situation. It doesn't even understand it, but um, it's, it's heading for a shipwreck. Uh, that's a guarantee. That's, that's where it's going. And... Um, and Dad has sent us as as Pauls, really, um, to warn people. Um, but just because people ignore our warning, as is happening more and more in the world now, uh, as things are really turning bad, as the storm is getting worse, um, the waves are getting higher, the sky is getting darker, the wind's blowing harder, and and it's because that shore is is getting closer and closer to us all the time, and. Um, just because people aren't listening to the warning doesn't mean that we disengage with them. Uh, we're supposed to see ourselves there alongside of them, not above them, not beneath them, but alongside of them. Because other than the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, we are there with them. Uh, there's nothing that we've done for ourselves, nothing that we've done to make ourselves better than them whatsoever. Uh, it's what Jesus has done for us and what we've accepted from him. And, and that's the reason we're in the position that, that we're in. Uh, so we come alongside those who are on the shipwreck and we encourage them. And, and um, we set the example. And we, we let them see that it is possible uh, to live a life of joy and of peace and of exuberance and abundance and uh, no matter what we face, that we face it with confidence and and faith. There's there's benefits. Yeah, forget not his benefits is a scripture that keeps coming to my mind. And forget not his benefits because there's there's benefits here and now, and that's what has to be conveyed to people. It's yes, for, for sure. I am so looking forward to eternity. Um, but it's the here and now. We have to live it here and now. There's benefits here and now. And it's joy and it's peace. And righteousness is, is not a, a thing that cuts out all the, the pleasures from our life. Righteousness brings us into a position of right function. Um, righteousness really is just everything that the Lord spoke into being in its proper workings, in its proper function. 
It's when things are working according to the Father's will. And when that happens, there's prosperity. It's when, when, we, when we walk in that righteousness, when we do what the Father says needs to be done, because that's the way it works. It, it, I, I often um, compare it to, to an engine or a computer. You know, if you put that thing together wrong, if a part of it decides that it doesn't want to uh, work in a certain way, or if you want to abuse it and use it in a way that it was never intended to be used, um, you're, you're not going to have it for long. It's, it's, you, you'll end up with a, a pile of, of junk in, in the yard of, of no use whatsoever. Um, a righteousness has us in the proper function so that that car is functioning. So it's running beautifully. Uh, well tuned up and uh, doing everything that we need it to do and that's what life is like mm -hmm. that when we walk in that righteousness um, th there's just a wonderful flow that is, that is happening in our life in the storms because cars work in storms too <laughs> in storms in uh, in sunny days it's it's all a matter of that that righteousness so yeah like don't disengage with people just because they they, they don't want to listen and they want to do their own thing uh, you are there as representatives of the Lord Jesus Christ and, and you are his spokesperson and you are there uh, to give them the encouraging words so that they will put their hope in him and trust in him and be reconciled to him uh, because dad wants everybody reconciled to him that's what it's all about it's, it's all about reconciliation it's not about condemnation it, it's not condemning them for not listening to you uh, but it's 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 working in that ministry of reconciliation to see everybody saved and brought to him. Anyway, sorry this comes late. You guys be blessed, be encouraged, and looking forward to gathering with everybody tomorrow. God bless.